So this is why most magicians are terrible at cheating. See, we all go and we sort of perform and try and create this idea that we could walk into a casino uh, and cheat with cards because we show how very clever we are. And, uh, and I'm, you know, I do this, that's what I'm paid to do. I'm paid to be an expert. But the real technique to genuine cheating is constraint. And I'll try and demonstrate that now. I mean, it's very hard for me to do because even I want to kind of be throwing the cards around and doing all that stuff. But the minute you do that, obviously people can see you're good with a deck of cards, uh, which is not what you want if you want to cheat people for money, basically. I'm not telling you how to do this. I'm not saying you should do it, but it's, a, it's an interesting thing. It's not what you think. Because the skill of it, and of course, you know, as magicians, we show skill. Like, for example, if I was to... Oh, I can't do this real well. We see people doing it way better than me on stage. So if I was to palm a card, again, I wouldn't do that because it's poking out the hand, and then I'd do that move of kind of showing the hand empty. Again, it looks cool, right? But you kind of know there's something there because of what I'm doing. It's not a natural way to show the hand empty. And then I could produce the card uh, in this way, show the cards there, and of course, uh, show the cards here. But again, not a natural way of doing it. This is great, but if I was to start doing that when I was cheating, I'd probably get my head kicked in. Because he <laughs> was like, hey, I'm not holding anything, honestly. So what I would do is, again, the card would always be palmed, again, in a friendly game. You can't do this in casinos, but if you're dealing and you spot a card that you want, uh, there's the ace, and I palm it off, take it in that and look at that like I take it in the hand and it's it's obviously I've got something there even though you can't see the card it's obviously there so I would lower the thumb a little bit and maybe bend the fingers a little bit even widen them a bit just so you can't see and then it looks a little bit more natural again if I was a genuine cheat it'd be way better than this you see you've got that actually gesture I could gesture and you'd be convinced there wasn't anything there and then when I put the card into my hand Obviously, that's the, uh, that's the great bit, <laughs> because you just can't see it. And I, I couldn't do that again and again. I think I did that quite well that time. And of course, that leaves three aces here and one here. Now, if I was to generally wanted to cheat, I think I'd, I'd, I'd mix both. I think for me, the best thing to do would be to create suspicion first and then cancel it out. So, for example, if I'm dealing and then I look at the last card and I go, right, I want that ace, I might... Oh, hang on. It will stick there when it because it's warm in here. That's it. You kind of sticks there and you kind of grip it a little bit between the fingers and thumb. But then, it's, it, even though the hand's flat, it looks dodgy as hell, doesn't it? But that's great because if they're suspicious and they go, hang on a minute, and they know I'm a magician like my friends do, I might then cancel that out by gesturing, looking relaxed, and really cancelling it out like this so they're convinced there's nothing there. Then at that point, they'd, re they'd relax and I'd, I'd add the card to the pack, leaving all the cards that I want in my hand. 